Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today's episode is going to be a little different, but I figured this format would hopefully work and appease all of you. I think you're not going to be too picky, but the reality of our situation is we have 104 stars. The maximum amount of stars you can have before finishing this game in the sense of playing the quote final boss of the game intends you to do is 105. Oddly enough, this is star 105. I forgot about it. It's back in World 5. So we're going to take care of this real quick. This is the Boom Moon Secret Star. You can find it in the Silver Stars pop-up. I don't even know how I completely forgot about this, but yeah, so this episode today is going to be a little bit of a shift around. I'm going to go ahead and do this star. I'm already doing it, so obviously that would make sense, right? Is that what you doing? Oh, that's not gonna... <laughs> Apparently you cannot make that with a long jump. Oops. Anyway, gonna do this star. Hopefully successfully. And then once this star is done, I'm going to skip ahead and show you what comes after you beat the final boss of this game. Or at least the prescribed boss that you can do once you have 70 stars. You don't need the full 105. But... I care about you, and I would never, never let you see the end of this game pre-105. It's disrespectful, and as a pro gamer, I can't do that to my fans, so that's what we'll do. We'll skip ahead, and we'll do a couple of, uh, we'll do a couple of stars, and then I will show you the final star of the game, along with the final you know, cutscene kind of stuff. We'll jump back into it. That's the way that we'll do this one. It just made sense continuity-wise. Going from a random star like this that I forgot to the finale to... more stuff just didn't feel quite, quite right. Now this star actually is kind of tricky. I'll try to do it in one, uh, one go here. You're going to want to skip this launch star. You're going to want to jump all the way over here and get ready to roll. You got to go quick. Like Sanic, you got to go real fast. Make sure you dodge the dead Octumbas. Whoop. If you bump into them, you're basically going to fail this mission. So there it is. That wasn't too bad. So the next thing you'll see after this mission I'm going to cut ahead to a couple of the stars that will occur once you've beaten the game. So that will be technically stars 107 and 8, but 106 I'll show at the end of the game because it just makes the most sense. So I'll go ahead and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay everybody, this is our prize for beating the game. We have open special world. So we will go ahead and move along with this. This will be stars two and three today. Dumps you back into the title screen, of course. There you see it. World S, it says, here we go. It was a very good Mario impression. But, uh, Lubba is surprised. It's written all over your face, you big dummy. All right. So we'll do two stars from World S today. What a big pain in the ass. All right, here we go. A letter from Luigi. Yeah, I don't know why the game does that, just to remind you. Also, you essentially start over here, lives-wise. So you have to be careful when I'm just warning you. And, uh, yeah. You get the typical four stars that you normally have. That's it. So if you do game over, that's it. But this is World S, as you can see. Special, I'm assuming, is what that stands for. We'll take on the Mario Squared Galaxy first. How about that? Make Mario a star. This is kind of akin to one of the stars 
from Mario Galaxy 1 where you had to do the switch panels. Then you had the horrific, one of the worst stars in the game is the purple coins. The Luigi version. Yikes. Now, thankfully, this star is not timed. There's no collectibles to do. But you do have to be mindful of the panels and the spicy Hershey kisses. There you go. Speaking of. And also, there are these kind of Beemos boys. Oops. It's already skipping stuff. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Yeah. It's not annoying or anything. Yeah, these, these dudes are uh, bad news. But thankfully, you can dodge them with a pretty good, well-timed jump. All kinds of chaos right now. Don't forget, you're still going to need uh, the star bits because there is a hungry Luma to be got. I thought I was done with it, but I was wrong. Although I did sort of hint at it that there might be another one. Also, there's a Comet Medal. Don't forget to grab that. We love our Comet Medals, don't we, viewers? Can't live without it. Can't live with it. Can't... Oh, boy. No! <laughs> okay, so you don't want to do that. I'm trying to make these couple stars relatively quick to account for how long the end of this video is going to be. You'll understand when you see it. It's very weird to essentially... Oop. Be doing things kind of out of order, but... I didn't really account for that in Galaxy 1, and I thought that the video finale was a little weird. My pacing was a little strange, so I'm doing, I'm doing, oh my gosh, come on. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Okay, if you could, can you quit? Jeez. Holy moly, what did I do to you? Who peed in your Cheerios? It's also kind of tough to know the hitbox of the Hershey Kisses. They're not a delicious chocolatey treat. That's for sure. Alright, grabbing the Comet Medal again. Let's see if we can avoid that, avoid that guy. Alright, moving on. I think we've gotten everything so far. Is this the one killed me or was it good? Nope. No, you, you will not. Stop. Alright, that's it. We just have to make it back. Back to home base. All right. Oh, no, I don't, no, no, stop. Oof. Whew. We juked him, though. That's right, broke his ankles. Left him in the Walmart parking lot. Boom, Star got. That was incredible. Good job, viewers, we did it. Okay. So that is the second star, sort of. We'll just pretend that it is. Another common metal. And these ones will eventually open up as you do it. They're all kind of linear. They're, as you can see, in a straight line, literally. So this is going to be... I don't know what that said, how many you need to do this, but 70 was the requirement previously. So 75, there you go. Oh, here we go. We will... Make this the third star of the day, the Rolling co Coaster Galaxy. Wow, I can't talk. The Rolling Coaster Galaxy, the Rainbow Road Roll. Now, this one's okay. It's not so bad. But the prankster comment of this one, mm -mm -mm, don't love it. I don't love it, but I'm gonna have to do it eventually because I'm a completionist and I can't not bring myself to completion. So, here we go. Whoops, we are facing the wrong way. Great start, Mario. But you get more of the Rainbow Ride theme, which I love. Which I'm like curious, like is it the Rainbow Ride theme or is it the Slide theme? Because, you know, there you go. Thanks, Dad. So, you know, it's played for on the slides. It's played when you do the Rainbow Road stuff. Make sure you dodge these uh, bombs. You're going to want to go this way. This is where the Comet Metal is. If you go to the left, this is apparently like the challenge area. You go the other way, you'll miss the common metal. There it is. And ABJ for this one. Always be jumping. This little crossover with DKC. Yeah, this one is a little a little chaotic, but the game for the most part is relatively good at being lenient on where you go. And then it also has these small sections that you're kind of 
I guess, kind of locked into. Oh no. <laughs> Speak of, I've never done that before, and that's too bad. Okay, well, we will try that again, round two, as if you didn't get enough the first time around. Go, go, go! Well, unfortunately, Captain Toad, there is no slow, slow, slow for this one. This one is pure unfiltered adrenaline and chaos. A lot of coins, I don't really know why. I don't know anything you can do with those coins, but you can dodge those blasty boys. Actually, did a better job with it that time. But because we are... Ooh, Oh, 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 oof. Because we are a pro gamer, we will go to the right. Things are getting a little wobbly. Okay. It is a pretty big jerk move that they put that bob bomb right at the end to blast you off course. But if you're epic, like me, it's NBD. That stands for No Bananas Delight. So, moving forward. Oh, had a little bit of a course correction to do there. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Well, not too bad though. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to slow it down. The game is kind of messing with my. Oh. Thanks. Thankful for the guardrails right there. Now this is basically the end of the game. Just kind of dunks you into it. Boop. And you win. And that, my friends, is a star. I don't know why they put it on the edge. Just to tease you a little bit. All right, so we'll grab this. We will wrap up today's episode with the final boss. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll come back in the next episode. Of course. And do some more. All right. Thank you, game. Perfect. And they've already unlocked the prankster comet of one I don't want to do. Amazing. Okay. And that is all for now. I'll catch you in a moment. Okay, everybody. Who is ready for the super intense final battle of Mario? G okay, it's not that. It's not that good. But you know what? We're going to make the best of it. This is the most amount of stars that you can have going into this fight. So we'll go ahead and unlock the 70 star gate with our abundance of 105. 35 more stars than normal just to kind of flex on it. Take that game. And here it is. Complete with cutscene. Hope you're ready for the grand finale, Captain. I actually kind of respect Angry Lubba because otherwise he just kind of seems patronizing. But Angry Lubba at least seems like he'd be somebody that'd be in your corner. Like a good wingman. Look at him. He's just so, he's so hyped. He's ready. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. That looks kind of weird, but uh, sure. Kind of looks like he's sucking on an Easter egg. As you do, right? That's a normal thing. Perfect. He does want to get even bigger. So let's show him what we got. Let's show them what our mama gave us. Okay, so this will be the final star for the day, everybody. This is the Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Even though this technically is the second one that I'm doing in the recording, it's going to be the final one you see today as we take on Bowser's Fortified Fortress. And then once this is done, the game will provide us with a plethora of cutscenes that are unskippable and incredibly unnecessary. But you know what? It's part of the contract that I show it to you. So here we go. We can't give up. I'm gonna go over here first, grab a life shroom. This mission is not too bad in the grand scheme of final stars of games and I say that as in like oops okay final star is in the final storyline star it's not actually the final star of the game as you know we still have the classic 120 to do 
Oops. Okay, if I could get up, that'd be great. Okay, basically just did accomplish nothing there. Let's go ahead and get this boy. Boom, got him. I don't like Hammer Bros. Oh, come on. I don't like Hammer Bros. Well, there goes my live stream. That was kind of a waste. <laughs> Not often you, you get bumped when you're in the middle of a uh, long jump. That's a little tricky. How about you, how about you quit your business? So killing all three of those dudes nets you the the air puffs. You can travel around. Oops. <laughs> That's not good. I don't think we're going to make it all the way down there. All right. So note to self, don't do that. All right. Let's, let's be a little bit more carefuler. I don't want this mission to get... <laughs> I don't want this to get out of hand. I already know that it's relatively tricky. It's not so bad, like I said before. Actually, I don't really know if there's ever been like a Mario game where I'm like, man, this final boss is really hard. The level itself, I can confirm, is much harder than the boss fight itself. The final tilt with our boy Bowser is substantially harder than this level intends to be. This level is not that bad. Getting the Comet Metal is a little tricky, but collectively it's not, it's not too bad. So go ahead and ride the puff all the way down through this fiery hellscape, making sure to hopefully avoid the, oops, how did I just lose it last time? What did I, what did I even do? <laughs> anyway, so you can shake it up to four times and waste time. Strangely enough. Alright. Take your drill power up and grab a checkpoint flag. When I first did this mission, I thought that I had actually killed myself with those. Oops. I thought I'd killed myself with the way this level is set up. It's very strange. And the game kind of wants you to follow the path that's got prescribed for you, but here at DMIC Industries, we do our own thing. You can skip ahead here to just grab this one up, and then you should be able to long jump again. There's a little pro strat for you speedrunners out there like myself. Not really gonna play by the game's rules. All right, and here's a little bit of a tricky subsection here. It definitely has a nice aesthetic to it. I do like the way that they've designed everything. But yeah, it's a little tricky. A little tricky trick. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. I don't know if... Oops. I don't think that's enough to do it. Wait. Never mind. I am amazing. You're welcome. So don't waste your clouds, though. Go ahead and wall slide on down. That's just coins, and there aren't coin lumas in this level. I can confirm that for all of y'all. Oops. Oops, okay. Not what I meant to do. Thinking Mario looked like a strawberry ice cream cone. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the, uh... Man. <laughs> it's one of the things that's really tough to do, apparently. Is, uh... Your pizza when you french fry. I'm just trying to... I'm trying not to butt stomp. That's my thing. It's really... I'll grab this just to be safe. It's really eat poop. <laughs> so much for that. Okay, I would just really like to get to this checkpoint. I will tell you in advance though, for those of you who are credit connoisseurs, that I will not really be fit, fit. I really won't be featuring the credits of this game. Just because I don't really see the value in that. And they're super long and you know, Credit where credit is due, literally. But I don't really want to feature that on this episode, so I will not. All right, open up, boy. So we're gonna keep trucking along. Yeah, so I'm not gonna show that. This episode is already gonna be long enough as it is, given how good I am at it. You can already tell. The game is kind enough to give us a. Oops. <laughs> I would have been able to land on him. My depth perception apparently is horrific. 
But anyway, to help us out in our quest going forward, we have our boy Yosh. And I like that they add the little Yoshi drums in the background. It's a nice touch. We have more bros to deal with. Of course, more bros. Boomerang bros. Boom. All right. Go ahead and dispatch these guys real quick. A lot easier to do once you got Yoshi. Grab a spicy berry and let's get the heck out of here. Moving right along. As the Red Sea closes in on us. All right, so here you go. This part is a little tricky. Go ahead and ignore that life shroom. It's a bit of a tease, it's a distraction. So this little moving platform has a split path on it. You're gonna wanna keep jumping back and forth between the two sections. Avoiding the, I think they're called blargs. It's the only way to successfully grab the uh, comet metal. And you'll have to do that. You need Yoshi to continue to finish this area, though. If you don't have Yoshi, you will not be successful. So don't even think about it. Once you grab the common metal, it's smooth sailing ahead. Get some of those sweet drums. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no. Are you kidding me? That's too bad. How did I even do that? I somehow got, like... Ugh, that is... That's a huge time loss. I'm not gonna be able to get my PB now. Oh, pfft. Like it casually nudged into. Uh, I don't think that counted for us having grabbed the comet metal, so... You've seen how to do it, though. I gave you the... The keys to the castle on that one. Alright, let's go this way and avoid the... Lava plumes. Also learned you can grab boomerangs and face the wrong direction when you shoot them out. Let's go ahead and punish you for ruining my experience with my bow Yosh. There he is. This is going to be a little bit tight, but I think we can still make it. The spicy berry. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Them cheeks are clapping. Maybe we can do this right eventually. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's just ignore the Magic Koopa there. Try that again. We already know what to do here. We are professionals. Okay. I like how the odds of that happening were probably pretty low, but it yeah, still did. All right. So this gate, if it starts to close in on you when you're fighting the hammer bros or the boomerang bros, it's better just to wait. It will open back up. It's not like a one and done kind of thing, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. So unfortunately, the Comet Metal, I don't believe, counted. You have to successfully complete the area for it to count. It did not. We're very close to, but the game decided that it was not going to allow us to jump into that incredibly small gap. It took me a good hot minute to figure out how to do this one for some reason. And I guess, you know, you don't really need this Bold Berry, or this Blint Berry, whatever these are called. But I don't know if you can escape the Blarg without it. So just... Whoa. No, don't leave us behind. No. Come back. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you do. Alright. This is going great. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be showing any of the uh, any of the credits to this one. Oops. Don't die, please. This episode's already going to be long enough, so... I'll just finish this level, and uh, we'll move on to... You'll already have seen a couple of levels of what comes after this. So we'll just go back to the face ship and prepare ourselves for the toughest challenge. And this is supposed to be the ultimate challenge because it's the final level of the game, but it is not. 
I can confirm that there are challenges that await us post this one. We even have to come back and do that Final World 6 mission for some reason. It's a chimp mission, I'll tell you that one. That's not something the game wants you to know. It's a government approved secret. But uh, yeah, so that'll be something we do another time. I don't know why they structured it like that. I don't know why they made it so we can only do that mission after the fact. It's very, very strange, but we still have to do all 120, the due diligence, of course. Let's go ahead and take this as far as we can. Oh! I don't think we need Yoshi any further. I lied and said that we did, but I don't think that we do. As we... <laughs> I love the sound of this, though. It sounds like a pair of those old fake teeth that you could wind up... I do like it. Alright, I'm just gonna long jump to be safe. Alright, that was ridiculous. Alright, I'd like to talk to you, bozos. Thanks, great. Do you have to say anything important? <laughs> you will, right? Nope. So we will ascend this long shaft all the way to the tip. Pop off. We already have the life stream, so we don't really need it. We will butt stop. That should have been all three. Come on, that was like a direct hit. We do remember that this does require butt stopping. See, that could have been either way. That's okay. The missions that precede this one aren't super... They're, they're trickier. They're meant to be kind of a challenge mode. But relatively speaking, they're not super long, at least. Not as long as this cutscene, even. Oh, Bowser, the final boss? Who knew? That's right. He's the master plan. He's the master of debate. The master of debater. All right, here we go. Should go find some green pipe dyed in Mario. Peach is hanging out with me, having a bubble bath. Ooh, that was a horrible sound effect. Wouldn't it, like, if she's in that bubble, wouldn't it be like, more like, like when Mario's underwater and he drowns? I don't think he would, he wouldn't be saying his own name, I guess. That'd be weird. I'm drowning, I'm gonna say my own name. No one does that, right? All right, here we go, final boss time. I guess I kind of screwed up the continuity a little bit when I did this in Mario Galaxy 1 when I uh, had I collected all the stars previous to this and then to technically beat the game again for it to be considered complete you have to beat the boss so to beat off Bowser twice for it to really count alright here we go also some of these orbs orb, um, you have to be careful where you shoot them at him because they don't if it's obscured by the planet, it doesn't count. But yeah, so the difference in this fight, he does these kind of planet wraparound shockwave things. He goes and punches stuff. Oh, well, well, that's his missed cycle. Yep. So you don't want to do that. But yeah, if you run in between these things, you will be A-OK. -okay. Make sure you position yourself properly to take advantage of Bowser's balls. All right, let's go ahead and grab this one. If you don't hit him the right way, like I said, like you can clip his, his animation and it won't count. You can just whiff. If you, if you hit the side of the planet, that doesn't count either. But once again, this doesn't really change. The fight doesn't become any more climactic. I think the final Bowser fight of Odyssey is one of my favorite ones. I think they really got that one right. That one's pretty intense. And I mean, the, the final fight of 3D World wasn't great, but I liked it. It just felt a little bit poked. What up, Mario? It felt a little more original. Ah. Yeah, you take any damage as part of that cycle, then you're just doomed. You don't get another chance. And I think that we get to hit him four times. All right, come on, bud. I got places to be. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Ugh. That is so cheap. That is so cheap, cheap. 
Yeah, like, I'm not struggling with any of the rest of it. I'm just not avoiding the stupid shockwaves. I'm just gonna jump right away. There we go. That should work. Alright, so we got one more. Not a terribly difficult fight, but... Very, it can be tedious sometimes and be drawn out. All right, there you go. I took a, I took a hit. Pre of him smashing his balls. That should count, right? All right, there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump here, and we are done. The final grand star is within our grasp. Boop, boop, boop. No. Mario. And that's the end. That's the end of the game, everybody. The conclusion is yours. <gasps> oh, amazing. The Grand Star. It's beautiful, Mario. All right, let's go ahead and grab our prize. We have done. Oh, okay. Surprise. <laughs> but you never saw that coming. Bowser's got a bit of an appetite. He's huge! Ha! Ah. Boom, got him. The end of you! I'm Bowser. I'm an edgelord. Alright, here we go. So here's the final thing you have to do. For some reason, they thought that this was fun. You have to land on these little planetoids, and you have to line them up. And he moves, unfortunately, so you have to hit him, I think, four times, five times. It's also kind of tough to do. Uh, you want to be right in the middle of the uh, starburst, if you can. That's how you know you'll get a direct hit. Everything else is going to be a miss. And that's if he doesn't move too much. So he'll get closer to you. You can hit him in the grundle a little bit. It's kind of hard to predict, but... You think it's a distance thing, it's not. It's just a it's a volume thing. You gotta hit him four times, five times, and that's it. Oh no, he never got a piece of of Peach's huge cake. He never got a slice. Oh, don't we feel bad? A sympathetic antagonist. And that's it, he just kind of like awkwardly fades into the butthole of doom. But that does open up a new world! Oh. oh, amazing. There's the grand star. Little Mario theme on the piano. So beautiful, my eyes are sweaty. And there's Peach, who, according to Mario lore, is like almost a foot taller than Mario. There she is. Thank you. There's our prize. Just kidding, this is the real prize. It's the bacon. Sheriff Mario's back in town. Yes, give that bad boy one last spin. You're all grand stars for following this Let's Play. I tell you what, viewers. You're all the grand prize. Here we go. How about some cutscene? I will include this, but... We'll dip out after the credits to conclude this bad boy. Oh, it's so beautiful, Mario. Like my creepy dead lifeless eyes. Here's the... The Secret Twist. You play the first Mario Galaxy game, you'll recognize this place. It is... Wingdings. It is Triangle, Triangle, X, Triangle, X, Triangle, of course. Also known as... In English... The Comet Observatory, and who better to check in on than Rosalina, Sky Mommy number two? Wonderful. So, Master Luma, very excited to see his mom. Thankfully, there is no storybook thing to record this time around. And they just kind of almost pretend that the first game didn't happen. So, once again, this storybook is just to conclude the quote story that they just really lightly pepper in here so here it is it's essentially the most bare bones version of galaxy one i like a nice gentle pull okay that pull is what that's right 
Sometimes polling can bring you together, but it can also pull you apart and put you on a list. So be careful with that. Yes. Make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. So we've met Rosaline again. So they are recognizing the fact that Galaxy 1 did happen. Although in certain ways they kind of pretend it didn't. So I guess Master Luma was just kind of out for a little bit of a joyride and we returned him back again. It's like when you're trying to go and play in your neighborhood, your grandparents are at your house and they rat on you. You get narked for just riding your bike to the ice cream store. So we've made a lasting memory with Master Luma until hopefully Mario Galaxy 3 comes out where he runs away from home a third time. Aw, uh, Peach is like, ha ha ha. Running away from home is so, is so cute and fun, Mario. So, Rosalina is just like, I am getting the heck out of here. Bye. See ya. It'd be funny if they took a wrong turn and, like, got sucked into a black hole. Wow, Peach, thanks for putting two and two together on that one. Oh, but wouldn't you know it, Lubba's still here, of course. Why wouldn't he be? terrorize us for eons. He's like, I built this phase ship and you are paying me back. Every last Star Mario. You are not getting away with this. I will break your kneecaps. Oh, isn't that cute? Don't you love that, viewers? A little passive aggressiveness from Lubba. As the phase ship charges through to the next area. We We did it! And you're like, man, the game's over. Classic ending at 106 stars. But no. It's not over. There's more to do. But these are the credits, which I will probably just skip. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, obviously. And I'll see you next time. Bye.